end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. But you're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad! You wanna confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe we leave that part out. Lily! Did you invite these strangers? I'm good. You made it. That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. We'll see to God those damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girl's got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour. True on this, motherfuckers! Good stuff, man. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but, well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though, rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger. But my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think. I haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. Look, I, I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign. Especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily. He's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... Okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? Yeah, okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Here. Wait, what? There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. I owe you one. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rein Alan in. It's reckless, is all I'm saying. Runs in the family. 
Jacob and Thomas are both AWOL. <laughs> this isn't the first time. Those two are gonna get themselves killed one of these days. Jake wouldn't be much of a loss, but Thomas is pretty good with that revolver. You're a cold hearted son of a bitch, right? Holding hands and singing Kumbaya is gonna keep us alive. Folks around here ought to remember that. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> 